From snow-covered Alps to valleys, from cities to tiny, cozy villages, from great cathedrals to little churches, we welcome you today to the joy of music as we take you on a musical journey of Switzerland. Our musical journey begins on the shores of Lake Lucerne. Here at the city's main church, the Hofkirche, we hear the magnificent organ. From Lucerne, we travel several miles around the lake to Vegas, where we catch the Riggy Bahn, a cable car that takes us up the Riggy Mountain. Thank you. 
The cable car takes us only halfway up the mountain, where we are greeted by one of the world's tallest snowmen. Next, we board the train which carries us right through the snow to the very top. Not far from Lucerne is the Riggi Bonn and Mountain. From here we have one of the most incredible vistas in all of Switzerland. We see the valleys below and the mountains many miles off. We are reminded of the scripture in Isaiah, of the coming of Messiah, Jesus Christ. And every valley shall be exalted, and the mountains and hills shall be made low. The crooked will be made straight and the rough places plain.
From high in the Alps down to the Swiss capital of Bern, we arrive at the city named after bears. The majestic cathedral, famous statues and captivating bear pits makes this a fascinating place to visit. A trip to Switzerland would not be complete without a visit to the tiny villages. Here people come to enjoy the winter sports and the beauty of the summer. We are standing in Stadt, which is a part of Sonnenland. The other villages are Sonnen, Steik. And here the famous Yehudi Menuhin Music Festival is held every summer. But people also come to enjoy the beauty of the tiny chalets, the churches, the snow on the trees, skiing, and just enjoying the beauty of the Alps. Join me, won't you, for a visit to these cozy places. A visit to the Swiss Alps in the winter is hardly ever without a beautiful snow. The Bible actually talks about snow. It says that for those who ask forgiveness of the Lord, He will make us whiter than snow. As we travel around the world, we find that all people have a need for God, a longing after fulfillment and for peace. The Bible says that that peace and fulfillment comes through knowing Jesus Christ in a personal way. For those who trust in Him and ask His forgiveness, He will make you whiter than snow.
Traveling across the country of Switzerland, we arrive at Arosa, a skiing village high in the Alps. Here we take in the breathtaking scenery and the two village churches, one a ski chapel over 500 years old and the other a modern church. There are many choirs in the world, but one of the most unique is the Yodeling Choir of Arosa, Switzerland. People from all professions sing in this choir and they all love to sing. People who work in the train station, who are teachers, who work in the sports store, and of course, ski instructors. They're going to sing for us now about their little home in Switzerland, where the mountain meets the sky. They've had wonderful days in their home. Some days have sunshine, some days have snow. Some days are bad, but they are in God's hands. And when the long night is over, he brings them to a new, fresh morning. We go now to the tiny ski chapel located on the slope of the Arosa Mountain. We were told that there is only one way to get there, and that is to ski. There's more than one way to get to a church to make music. As you can see, we have to load up all the television equipment on a snow grooming machine, and then the machine drives the equipment up to the church.
in the tiny little mountain chapel in Arosa, Switzerland, built in 1492, I am seated at the cabinet organ, which itself is over 300 years old. It has been said that this little organ was given by a farmer who lived here in the area. There are several very interesting things about the organ. First of all, the keyboards are very old and rickety, most difficult to play. Then it must be pumped by hand, or shall we say by foot. That is the only way to get the air into the bellows. So while playing, the organist's foot must go up and down on the pedal and to the right of the keyboard is a long black stick. One must make sure while playing that this little black stick is sticking up just so far in order to keep the wind in the pipes. One of the most appropriate pieces we could play on this tiny cabinet organ is called a Swiss Noel, written by the French composer Louis-Claude Daquin. Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you a special program of music from Switzerland. We pray that you have been blessed and enriched by the beauty of God's creation. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week. Diane Bisch and The Joy of Music wish to thank Lufthansa German Airlines for their support in helping to make this program possible.